Hi friends, it's Suzanne here from sunstampin.com. I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to my weekly Wild Card Wednesday video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are a little more technique driven, but nothing too complicated. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. For today's card, I am featuring the Simply Succulents Bundle. That's the stamp set and the dies. I'm just going to use the die that does the little label there at the bottom. But I just wanted to do a simple card. I really wanted to use these blending brushes. So I have the sentiment, I'm gonna get that out of the way straight away. So on that little label that I die cut out, I am using stays on ink. I find stays on ink with red rubber stamps gives the most crisp black image, striking image that you could ask for. So uh, I did that for the sentiment. And here I have my basic white thick card base. And that's just a regular one. And I scored it and I folded it in half and I'm going to use it that way. I have a non-porous surface underneath it, so I have a laminated grid mat, and it's just because I'm gonna be using my new uh, blending brushes. So I have the Simply Succulent stamp set here, the largest image in the stamp set, and I am stamping with Stays on Ink, and the nice thing about stays on ink is that it is like permanent. It stays on everything and it gives you a nice crisp image and it's not going to move smudge or anything like that. So I know that when my water-based ink goes over top of it, it's not going to smudge. So that is why I'm choosing to use that instead of Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. You could, but I prefer stays on and Right after I'm finished this card, I'm going to go use a proper cleaner and I'm going to clean. And I just use the regular Stampin' Up! Um, cleaner and a scrub brush. And um, yeah, I, I, my, my stamps don't get stained. All right. So now I am using uh, my blending brushes. You will find them on page 70 of the January, June mini catalog. I have many. I have full set syndrome, so, uh, but I didn't get ev one for every color. I got one for every shade of color. So right now I'm using light green. So that's pear pizzazz, cause that's a light green. Uh, it will, I'll probably also use it for like soft sea foam and maybe granny apple green or like even just jade, like so all of the light green tones and then I have a dark green uh, brush and my dark green brush I'm using things like shaded spruce and garden green and old olive and possibly mossy meadow I, I'm, is mossy meadow is not my favorite green so I don't know if it will touch the brushes of my blending brush but who knows it's possible uh, and this is what I'm doing I'm going on very gently on my card base, tapping off and doing, the brushes are domed. So once you understand that they're not flat, they're domed. So you will get, if you press very, very lightly, you will get just the tiniest amount of color and you go in a circular manner. If you wanna know where your ink's at, tap your non-porous surface like I've done here, you can see in the corners there. And I'm getting a variation of light and dark green. And then I'm coming in with purple. So this is Highland Heather. And I have a purple blending brush. I don't have light purple and dark purple because I just don't, you know, have that. So <laughs> I have purple and I have one for pink. So I guess that would be light purple. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I wanted to sort of encompass all the colors for them. So as you can see here, I am, I am trying to give the image color, but I'm also trying to go over the image a little bit. And 
for this technique, you need a wink of Stella brush. I probably should have said that at the beginning, but anyway, I'm brushing on the color and when I think I have enough or I've blended, and this is in real time, I did not want to fool you into thinking that, you know, I took a really long time or a really short time. This is a medium amount of time. I'm having fun. I'm using my non-porous surface so I don't get ink all over everywhere. I am trying to color the image, but I'm also going over the lines. I'm trying to highlight the purple. I'm trying to look, make succulents look like succulents. So this is how I'm storing them in case anybody, I know everybody asks, how are you storing them? This is, it's a, a jar that has little butterflies on it. Got it at the dollar store. It used to have coffee. Now it doesn't. It has my blending brushes in it. I have my label here and it has dimensionals on it. And I'm going to put it up in the first one third of the card. And then this is the magic that happens with your Wink of Stella. So I'm bringing out the Wink of Stella and I'm giving you a close up because magic happens. It's not happening right now, but you'll see it. I'm coloring over the, just the, the image of the succulents. And when I get to these larger petals, you can see that the Wink of Stella is activating the color, the soft color that's laying on top of your cardstock. It is activating it and it's making it deeper and richer. And you're actually coloring the succulent. This is so cool. So what it's doing is it's bringing out that succulent and it's making it jump off the page. Well, in real life anyway, it might not happen on camera. I didn't put a lot of color on these little guys, but as soon as I move into the actual succulent itself, man, it, like it just brightens everything. Wink of Stella is amazing. <laughs> Period. The end. <laughs> uh, so I, and that's what I did. I colored the entire succulent and all the petals and I didn't go like I colored petals individually. I have sped this up because it's boring. And, but it is kind of cool to see the reaction between the liquid and the ink that's just gently sitting on top of the page. And you can see I have added the opal rounds and they are on page 41 of the catalog. So uh, you'll be able to see those embellishments. Can't get enough of those. And I put them in a little triangle around my sentiment to draw attention to the sentiment. And that is my share for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.